we're going to spend the next two hours telling you how dangerous virtually everything you do is for you. If you're squeamish or, or easily distracted or just want to carry on having fun, then turn the radio off. This is not the show for you. The facts are these. Vaccines, deadly. Mobile phones, deadly. Fluoride, deadly. The majority of the medication from your doctor, deadly. Even the planes in the sky you go on holiday with are spraying you with biological agents, deadly. Cell phone towers, pumping out pulse after pulse of tetra waves, deadly. The food you eat is littered with cancer-causing chemicals, deadly. Corporations are tearing the earth apart with the frickin' frackened and poisoning your precious environment which they've used to brainwash your kids against you with the Club of Rome, claptrap, global warming garbage. I'm sorry if this seems like scaremongering. I don't care. Call it frustration, call it what you like. But if people aren't warned now, there won't be anyone left healthy enough to beat these new world order, control freak, murdering scum. They're openly bragging about murdering sterilizing, neutralizing 90% of the planet's people. They're targeting the children they pretend to be helping. Helping. They're, they're targeting mothers-to-be with the IQ-reducing, brain-damaging vaccines. And when the children go to kindergarten, just as the elites have outlined in their own publications, the children's minds will be theirs. The parents' views won't count. It's a science. We're under attack. A very long time ago, a group of brilliant minds came up with the idea that science could be used to control the people, what they call the masses. That's you. You know it today as television. The scientists know it's one of their greatest weapons ever devised to divide and conquer the public and their minds. These money men skulking in the shadows over vast periods of time have at last, in plain sight, the culmination of their plan coming into view to rid the world of the one thing they fear the most and inherit the earth having no soul to start with, what's the one thing they fear the most? What's the one thing they fear the most? You. Yes. You. These international bankers have held sway over the mind of the public for too long. These globalists have plundered and tore the heart out of humanity and laid waste to our dreams for too long. These eugenics-driven, psychopathic, pathetic, dominant minority have cast their web of deceit and devastation across the centuries and now seek to destroy the last vestiges of humanity. Yes. The one thing they fear is you. Yes, you have the power to oppose them, and yes, now is the time to defeat them, because the one thing they fear the most is you. The only power in the world that can stop them is the people. Though violence is not the answer. Violence is not the answer. And as London burns again tonight, and people's livelihoods are lost and more people suffer, you will not see the people on the streets who have done their homework on the New World Order. You will not see the wide awake minds who have researched how the bankers pay thugs to cause civil unrest as a matter of course. You will, however, see people on the streets who have been driven to take opportunities where they can, having been denied a decent chance in life because the bankers 
have bottlenecked the resources and kept the wages low for generations. You will see people on the streets that have lost their job because the international bankers have chosen this point in time to engineer this global financial takedown whilst openly robbing more of the taxpayers' money and bailing out their buddies. Tax. Tax, which the people were duped into thinking all this time they were compelled to pay. Another con. Income tax is voluntary. I would ask the people on the streets of London tonight to try and look to the future because from where I am, it looks like you're being played. These bankers who own your supposed government, by the way, have used poor people as pawns before. Every revolution, each bout of civil unrest, every leader that endured on the world stage has been carefully orchestrated to bring about the solution to a problem that you are reacting to. It's a science. Problem, reaction, solution. Except this time, their solution is total war on humanity. Total enslavement through a surveillance grid and martial law. And if you think things are bad now, if you react with violence and play right into the hands of the bankers when things are really bad with the stranglehold they have on the world's food markets, you don't know what bad times are. Go back to your homes. Go back to your homes and don't feed the beast that hunts you. Go back to your homes and learn how to defeat these murderous, child-abusing bankers with every fiber of your brain power and being. Go home to your families and prepare for the real battle in your communities. The battle the bankers are fighting right under your very nose through their common purpose, turning friends into foes, dignity into dehumanization, kindness, kindness into greed. Be patient. Be patient, people of London. You will have your day where no one dictates how you live your life. The whole world is waking up to the banker's game and you are part of the generation the only generation fit and healthy enough to take on these creeps. So stay healthy and get the knowledge about how to, to really protect yourselves so you and your friends and your families can survive. Don't take the bait. Go home and prepare for the real fight. <laughs>